we, we like to hear people's stories. Well, I've been around a long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Frank, come sit for five minutes. I, I really only got two minutes. I got two minutes. All right. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Have yeah. you lived here for a long time? Uh, 57 years. Oh, 57. Wow. wow. Mm, hi. In this building? Hello. Hi, hi. Yeah, in that building. Hi. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What uh, concert are you going to? Uh, the church, actually. Uh, they're doing Mozart, so I, you know, I... Oh, nice. Yeah, well, yeah, make it feel good. Full make orchestra? Good. What's that? Oh. No, 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 no. I'm sure they don't have that many people, you know. I was going to make a funny joke, and it was you, me, you, and him over there. I said, well, you know, statistics is one out of four is gay. So I said, which one is it? <laughs> is it you, Frank? Yeah. Are you coming out to us? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, after all these years, I'm, I'm an establishment. <laughs> <laughs> Have yeah. you lived here for a long time? Uh, 57 years. Oh, 57? Wow. wow. Mm, hi. In this building? Hello. Hi, hi. Yeah, in that building. Hi. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very well known. I, my name is Frank Andrews, and if you go on the internet, you'll read all about me. What did you do? Why are you known I used for? to, I retired last year. I, I'm a very famous psychic. Uh, and famous I, what? Psychic. psychic, yeah. I read the oh. future, and I did Grace Kelly, John Lennon used to come here, Yoko Whoa. Ono. Everybody came down here, everybody. You know, uh, you name it? I, uh, mobsters, uh, soccer moms, uh, School teachers, doctors, nurses, priests, nuns. I hit them all, yeah, every walk of life. But I'm tired now, I, I'm no more. You I don't still got know. the gift? Uh, I, I, think it's something, I think it's something that everybody has in them, but most people kind of shy away from it. Like it. What's, the, what's the nastiest future you've ever seen? Or you don't want to talk about it? The nastiest was the attack on New York. Uh, and I wrote about it in the New York Times. Uh, no, I'm gonna, sorry, I don't know why I said the New York Times. I, sorry, sorry, sorry. New York Post. I used to write a column for them. And I said, they're coming. And I said, uh, anybody who believes that strongly, you can't stop it. And it was all there. I wrote about it. And I wrote is... about Clinton and his wife. Uh, they're gonna have, that's before the Monica Lewinsky. I said, you know, they're gonna go through a horrible time, but he'll come out with, he's lucky, you know. Anyway, so uh, I'm tired, you know, it's so... Yeah. That's why I didn't want to talk to you, because I knew it would all come out, so... Oh, oh. sorry. Yeah, you, no, you bear no, that no. burden of knowledge. Well, yeah, but it's, 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 as I said, now I'm just living day to day, enjoying sitting on the steps, watching great. people go by. Great, you great. Know. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. That's awesome. It sounds like you've had a great life. It was. It's taken me all over the world, you know, and uh, uh, I, they don't want to publish my book, because I refuse to do Facebook and Twitter and all of that. I want to do that. And uh, they all come to me. All, uh -huh. Everybody comes, the publisher. And one day, uh, this girl, she's taking all these notes. And I said, should I talk about the time I had dinner with the king and queen of Spain? And she looked at me and she goes, are you crazy? <laughs> you know, I, I forgot all about it. Yeah. But when you, when you go back in your memory, things start to pop up. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, I can tell you things that you're not even going to believe it, so I just don't even say it anymore, you know. I lived it. That's the best part. Wow. wow. That's the best part, yeah. That's See, awesome. I can give you stories from the Vatican to Harlem, believe me. <laughs> and everything in between. Man. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Man, how, do you, how did you get yourself into a position of power like that? Well, it's not true. I don't, I don't say that. I came to New York and, you know, I was 18 years old. I left home. I was very smart. Get, ri get rid of the family. To me, family is karma. All your problems because your mother and your father. And their grand, your grandfather and grandmother taught them a certain thing, which was probably wrong, yeah. and then they pass it on. So I knew enough to get away. Even if your parents are the best parents in the world, you still have to get away from them because maybe you don't want to be like that. <laughs> maybe you want to be something else. Yeah. So anyway, I left at 18, and I changed everything, everything. And I met, uh, of all people, you don't know it before your time, a lady by the name of Marion Tanner, and she's the uh, uh, the basis of a book and a movie and a musical called Anti Mame, and she loves psychics and astrologers, and so I met her. Three days I'm in New York and I meet this old lady, 
and we hit it off, and I met a lot of people through her. Wow. And so that's how it all began, you know. Very cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you did that your whole life? Uh, yeah, just until uh, this past year. I only will see <coughs> once in a while, I might see someone, and but that's very rare. I, I get, I used to get, not so much anymore, because people seem to know I'm tapering off, but I would get anywhere from 50, 60, 70, even a hundred calls a day, you know, and I could only see one or two out of that, you know. So, um, um, we'll let you go. Yeah, I gotta uh, go to this concert. Go. But anyway, that's my story. It was so. awesome meeting you. <laughs> Great meeting you. Yeah. Thanks for sitting down. Good luck, both of you. Yeah, I appreciate Jordan. it. Jordan. All right, what is it? Jordan. Jordan and Jordan. Bora. What is it? Bora. Oh, that's interesting. Bora, Thanks. that's an unusual name. Turkish. All right, take care. Good take luck care. with your endeavors here. Appreciate yeah. it.